This local sports report is presented by Linamar, a proud supporter of the Brantford Bandits. Linamar is hiring for all career opportunities available. Check out their website and apply now at linamar.com slash careers. Sunday afternoon hockey from the Wayne Gretzky Sports Centre. The Cambridge Redhawks looking to keep rolling as they face the Brantford Bandits coming off a big win over the Caledon Bombers. First period of this one, and it's a great start for the home side. On the power play, Evan Paliubeski rips one home, and the Bandits have an early 1-0 lead halfway through period number one. Then just a minute and 20 seconds after that, Brantford looking for more. Beautiful pass out front from Blake Clayton. He finds David Bonsai, who puts it in the back of the net, and it's 2-0 Bandits. All is rolling in Bandit land until Reed Gamage on the power play. Gonna put one home as he finds this loose puck in the slot and Gamage has cut the lead in half. It's now 2-1 Bandits. But wait, cue the new guy. How about Juan Agrimeyer? He picks this puck up in the slot. Agrimeyer, an addition not so long ago. He's given the Bandits a 3-1 lead after 20 minutes. To the second period we go. On the power play just four minutes in. Matt Free's gonna let this point shot go. Loose puck out front. It goes off of one of the Bandits players. Matt Free's gonna end up with the goal and he's given the Red Hawks life. It's now a one goal game early in the second period. Red Hawks looking to tie, still in the second. Jack Martin picks it up and rips it home in the slot. We're all tied up at three apiece as the Red Hawks score two unanswered in eight minutes of the second period. And that's where we would sit after 40 minutes, all tied up at three apiece. Now to the third period we go. Another power play for Cambridge. Owen Yager's point shot finds its way through traffic and into the back of the net. And just like that, the Red Hawks have their first lead of this hockey game. It's 4-3 Cambridge. Red Hawks now late in the third period looking for some insurance. Centering pass comes all the way back to the point. Shot comes through. Jack Darcy finds Twine. And Cambridge has their insurance. They have a 5-3 lead over Brantford. And that would be enough for Cambridge in this one. The Red Hawks come back after trailing 3-1. And they defeat the Brantford Bandits. Final score from the Wayne Gretzky Sports Center, 5-3, Cambridge takes it.